storms continue to strengthen here this afternoon and pretty much everybody to the south and east of this line. That means from Hillsborough, Batavia, Florence, Cincinnati, Crittenden, south and east. This area right here, this is where we still have that potential for some severe weather. If you're to the north or to the west of that line, I think your potential is much, much lower as we head on through the evening. Now we are seeing some severe storms. The severe thunderstorm warning here goes until 645. It's for Leesburg, Samantha, Hillsborough, Marshall, Rainsboro, and you can see all of this lightning here. Plenty of lightning on top of that. Also a hail threat. We've seen some penny sized hail with this storm at times. Some of that hail could be the size of quarters, so just keep that in mind. Again, this particular system now heading through Samantha. It looks like the worst of it will stay to the north of Hillsboro, but watch out Rainsboro as well as Greenfield and Leesburg. Timeline, New Petersburg around 632, Paint 636, and Rainsboro at 638. That's the timeline on that storm moving at 35 miles an hour. Another storm which has put down some actually nickel-sized hail, slightly larger hail with this storm just to the west of Union, is now moving on east. Owensville, Batavia, also seeing some of, that, uh, some of those severe reports. And we have a new report here. I'm going to step off camera, and I'm just going to go pick that up real fast. I have... I know you're curious and I'm curious too. Sometimes we get new reports issued right in the middle of a show. We have some uh, nickel sized hail and then some one inch sized hail now being reported right out of Union. Again, that's with this storm just to the north of Union. Um, one inch hail now being reported. That's getting up to the size where you can see some real problems from that. We're talking damage to cars. Obviously, if you're driving through something like that, you don't wanna be caught in a hailstorm. So watch out Union. Watch out, Batavia, this is heading your way, and it looks like Owensville, it'll be on your doorstep here right around 631. So keep that in mind as we head on through the evening. Everywhere else, well, we're seeing some more scattered activity across southeast Indiana and northern Kentucky, but nothing severe here. What I would be concerned with is if I saw some organization, if this line became a little stronger and a little more organized and started moving east, then I'd be concerned about northern Kentucky, but right now I'm not seeing that. Of course, we'll continue to watch that as we head on through the evening. Temperatures were close to 80 degrees. Now with all this rain, things are starting to cool down. 68 degrees in Loveland, 67 in Versailles, and 77 degrees down there in Carrollton. Right now, it's a rain out downtown. 73 degrees, winds out of the southwest at 20 miles an hour. And as this cold front works its way on through, you can see how the rain goes all the way from Cincinnati back through Louisville and Paducah. So we're going to have a few hours of heavy rain, some lightning, and some storminess, perhaps even a few intense storms with that hail like what we were just talking about. Now tomorrow things are going to quiet down a little bit. We should just have some cloud cover around and uh, some sunshine to help our temperatures recover. Best chance for rain this evening, obviously right now, and as we head on through the next few hours, those rain chances really start to drop off once we get past 10 or 11 o'clock. Temperatures, they're going to drop off too, down to 55 degrees by the morning hours, and then tomorrow a mix of clouds and sun and a high temperature of 70 degrees, so about 10 degrees cooler. Here's future cast. Notice how most of the rain is in our southern communities once we get past 9 or 10 o'clock, and then even that moves out tomorrow morning. Then the sun comes out and it looks like we stay on the sunnier side until a few high clouds start to roll in late in the day. All around Monday looking nice, Tuesday even nicer. So your forecast this evening, scattered strong to severe storms, temperatures eventually dropping into the mid-50s. Tomorrow temperatures climb. We'll see a high of 70 degrees. And then for the rest of the week, Monday, Tuesday, temperatures in the 70s, a stray storm possible on Wednesday. We could see another round of severe storms as we head through Thursday. And then next weekend, a little bit cooler with more showers 